Hi, Lisa. I wanted to show you something that I made for George. Well, it was with the help of a friend of mine, but I'm going to send this, and I also sent this to Casey. Um, it's an activity book. Uh, so I'm going to try to quickly go through it with you. Of course, it's from Canada, so you'll see uh, the French there. Hello, bonjour. <laughs> I have a lot of light coming in here. So the first page is his name. And so these are all, here, that's better. These are all Velcro. Okay, so, you know, he can work on his name. The second is his age. So right now he's four, but in November, of course, he's going to be five years old. This one is color. So there's two pages that are consecutive, like behind each other. So, you know, it's up to you. You can either, sometimes I just, even if you can just match the color, it doesn't have to necessarily switch over and put it on this one. But, you know, if you take the colors and you just, I do hand over hand with him. I'm really trying to start doing this uh, colors. This was a little bit more advanced, but it's like a dry erase and you can write all the letters and then go over it again with him. It's probably a little advanced for him, but that's down the road. This is kind of basic, you know, the day of the week. So today is Friday. And here we have seasons. So again, the consecutive pages, you know, you don't have to do that. I mean, we can just, just learning that, you know, it's September. So, you know, show me what month it is, September. And here we have uh, the seasons. So we're, you know, still in summer, obviously, but, um, Soon we're gonna be fall. So you just, you know, it's fall. And this is just a cute activity. You know, what is the weather today? So it's sunny outside today. So we're going to get our sunglasses and we're gonna get our beach ball and maybe put on our summer hat. Uh, again, dry eraser, learning numbers, counting. I mean, but I mean, you could use this for anything. Show me the pig, oink, oink, or, you know, elephant, whatever. It's just an activity book for George, basically. And I'm going to send it in his backpack. This one's a tracing, you know, number uh, tracing with a dry erase. Um, and your daughter actually might like this too because, you know, she might have a project or something. Um, the cookie jar, I really like this one. I do this with my two-year-old. He has a book um, also. This is Joseph's book over here. <laughs> so we do that. But anyway, so the cookies, you know, you know, which one is five or the other way around, you know, show me five. Sometimes numbers are easier. Which one has five chocolates in the cookie jar? Um, this one is the shapes and George really likes this one. He, you know, obviously it's all hand over hand, but I really try to just like, you know, do hand over head, red, square, blue, circle, or even if you're just doing colors, you know, that's a good one. Um, again, a little bit more matching. Oh, there's our umbrella for the weather. Matching, so which one comes next? You choose your your pattern. A um, little bit more advanced, but uh, this one is, you know, all the pieces, and then you, you make your, your puzzle of your guy. And there's a unicorn behind it, and you also do the same thing. Again, a little advanced, but something to work on. Again, a little advanced, but learning about numbers. So, you know, how much is it? How much money do we need? We need 10 cents. So we'll put 10 cents here, this part, whatever. So anyways, and then that's the end. Bye-bye. And yeah, so I will send this in his bag and you could, you know, send it back and we could work together and um, do our best for our sweet boy. Thanks. Have a great weekend.